Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you will subscribe and share my channel on your social media outlets with your friends and tell them there's a silver crown lady over there on YouTube that's got some tips and some tricks and that she's getting from all of her other girlfriends and guys on YouTube. And they might be interested. You never know, right? Anyway, thanks for stopping by. And for those of you that have been hanging in there with me for the last year and a half, thank you so much for doing that too. And I'm going to jump right into it. Well, first of all, you guys, if you've been following my channel, you knew that I was making a long, unexpected trip from Canada back to the United States, and we are here. We have been here one week now. I have been exhausted, hit the ground running, and there you go. So this is my first chance, really, to get back on here, trying to recover from the long road trip. took us seven days to get here by automobile. So... Wanted to check in with you guys, let you know I did make it and I'm doing okay. But today, I, what I want to talk to you about is what I think has been some kind of a formula change in Shea Moisture's products, and I'll tell you why. So first, let me start by saying my hair is freshly washed. I just got finished um, twisting it. And I used their Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration um, Shampoo. And I followed that up with the conditioner. And rinsed it out like, you know, like it said. And then I decided that I was going to um, put in the Jamaican black castor oil um, strength and grow leave-in conditioner, which comes in this jar. And I just, I just ordered this. But anyway... So I do want to say about this Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo with African Rock Fig and Baboa Oil, whatever. That's just way too long to memorize. But anyway, um, I have used this before, and um, it's, it's fine. It does my hair okay. Uh, it gets my hair clean. It doesn't leave it feeling stripped or anything. And the conditioner leaves my hair feeling very soft and... It doesn't feel stripped at all either, so that's that's pretty good. Um, I'm I'm happy with this. This is uh, I bought my second bottle of conditioner for this, or is it shampoo? No, it was a conditioner, and I'm okay with it. I, I like Shea Moisture products. I have not tried all of their product lines, but I have done this, and uh, it seems to be fine on my hair. Uh, my hair, for those of you that don't know, is low density, and it is fine. So I've got one patch back here that's kinky, and this up here is loose and thin, and this on the sides is kind of, you know, something in between. I don't know. Anyhow, those products worked okay for my hair, so I just wanted to give you a review on that in case you were thinking about trying it, okay? Let me tell you, I was shocked. Now, I don't know what's going on, but... When I opened up this jar, this stuff was like water. I, I don't know why. It's thickening up now a little bit. But look at that. And before it was it had a little bit of thickness to it. So I don't I don't understand. Um I don't know. Does this stuff expire? I don't understand why it's like that. It's very runny. Um, I was really shocked because I just opened this about an hour ago, just before I started doing my hair. And I took off the little um, seal that was on the top and was shocked that it just ran out onto my hand. Um, and I had to clean it up off my table and everything. So I wanted to ask you guys if you have used this product. This Again, this is the, um, the Shea Moisture Jamaica Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, it looks like this. But I wanted to know, had you used this product, and if you had, 
was it like that? Because the I've been using this um, over a year, I guess, off and on, and it has never been that texture, ever. So I don't know if they changed their formula or if this stuff went bad, if it expires. I don't know if there's an expiry date. I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to... <laughs> anyway... Just let me know if you have used that or any of their products and it went limp or liquefied like that on you. Because this used to have some texture to it. I mean, I, I could scoop it out. Uh, I can't really scoop this. This just runs off like, like I don't know what, I don't know, watered down mayo or something. But it's, it's a little weird. I've just not seen that before. And then, of course, my husband was thinking that because we went from sea level to 11,000 feet at one point when we were in Colorado coming through the mountains and all that, that perhaps that changed the texture of it, uh, the pressure and all that change in elevation may have had something to do with that. I don't know. It's possible. But I just want to know, have you had this sitting on your shelf and opened up one and that happened? You know, it came out uh, liquefied like that. So anyway, hope you guys had a good holiday and all that. And, um, this is just, it's very, very hot here. It's like over 100 degrees, so I'm having to really, you know, really watch my hair. I have a humidifier here that I bought the last time I was here that I keep in the house, mostly in the room that I spend most of my time in, and I have it on kind of medium high to try to keep my hair hydrated because otherwise this Oklahoma sun will just suck the moisture right out of your hair. So anyway, so I just did some some you know, some twist, and um, twirled it on the ends like I showed you guys before, and that was pretty much it. So, anyway, but like I said, I wanted to ask you about that, you know, that product, had you have that happen. So let me know, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, give me a thumbs up, put a like on there, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time I come on. Thanks for stopping by. Keep it natural.